Hello all you have finds out there and welcome to a new series. This is going to be the Chronicle RuneScape Legends uh, card game. It's a little bit like Hearthstone, but I'm going to explain uh, as we play through a game a couple of ways that it's not at all like Hearthstone. Do I think it has necessarily the power to claim the title? I don't think so, but uh, it, it is fun. I've been playing quite a bit of it actually. And um, I've really been enjoying myself. So uh, I... First of all, you, you build your own decks, but it's really the whole game is based off of these things called legends. There's a couple different ones. They're like the heroes, you know, with your hero powers of Hearthstone. Uh, so I did some solo play. I completed the bronze, completed all the silver stuff, completed the gold. Took me a couple hours actually to beat them all. And um, we're going to go ahead and, and face my first opponent together. First real opponent. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find. I have found so far that I believe the strongest here. First of all, here are the five. And there, there will be more, it appears. But you got like a vampire, you got the tank, mage, thief, and uh, the blacksmith, which is based entirely upon weapons. And, and Linza, the blacksmith, appears to me to be the strongest, most consistent of them so far. So um, we found uh, we found somebody else playing the thief, Jerry342, and I'm going to hopefully kick his, his patootie, uh, you know, pretty hard. And you'll see probably, hopefully, this game, if I if I play it right, why it is that it's so powerful. Sure, I can go first. Um, third goes good, but the best stuff for me early on is gonna be these guys. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the gold. But the weapon durability is good. I kind of want to keep that. Really gives me a lot of play room. All right, so. Why don't we do... He doesn't do a lot of damage early, in my opinion. So we're going to do yeah! something on the lines of this. And we're going to take a little bit of damage on this guy. We're going to take four damage. So this is how the game is played, okay? So you'll see right here. I'll try to be fast because I think I have, I have a time limit. But you play your cards, yeah! and then you have to beat the cards. You have to beat the cards in the in the rank of which you put them. So if you put yep, down... I'm ready. I'm ready. If you put down a uh, minion card, you have to beat the minion. This is your attack, that's your gold, and that's your health. Um, so you, you go through the line, one after the other. You don't have to put all the cards in. You could have one card on the map, you could have four cards on the map, anywhere in between. And a lot of these cards have different things. So this one removes your weapon, but if you don't have a weapon, it can't remove it. So he just draws, he just gets three coins then. On the bottom, you'll see coins and stuff like that. That's your rewards and stuff. So now, this guy's probably a noob. Uh, he's going to kill a Jubilee bird. Which is going to give him 3 health and 1 coin, but uh, he's only going to lose 1, so he's over healing right now. Not really good efficient use of the coin. So he's going to get some, some money from the Gnome Guard though, that's a pretty good one. Gnome Guard is, uh, gives you a good amount of money, considering how low the health is. And then uh, I now have enough gold to buy a weapon. It kind of moves fast, you can kind of feel how it moves fast. He didn't have a card on the last one, so he didn't play anything. So I now have a weapon, i got some, some decent money right here. And my weapon has a durability of 5 over 3, so it, it, it increases my damage by 5, and the durability is 3. Oh man. This is a shame. I don't have any, I don't have anything good really to play here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with this, her weapon. It'll, it'll remove my, uh, it'll actually remove my... My weapon, though, but I kind of have to do that right now because there's nothing else I can really play this turn at all. I can't afford a, a more expensive weapon. I don't have a lot of gold, and increasing durability won't help me. So yep, here, I'm ready. I am going to do some damage to him. I'm going to have to pick up another weapon so I can kill this guy to get a better weapon, and hopefully we'll get some better cards next turn. Uh, this really wasn't very good good roll for me because I got mostly things I have to spend money on, and I don't have a lot of money. So I'll be doing six damage to him. And uh, as you go through these different, you can see the phases before this, there's five phases. At the end of the five phases, if you haven't killed each other yet, uh, you, you beat each other's face in at the end. So, we have the same weapon strength right now. He's got slightly less health than me, but more gold. I'm going to kill this guy. Take four damage, double your gold. That's what this guy does. He, 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 he's a very gold intensive character, which... Uh, isn't bad for me because uh, this girl can do a lot of damage at once. You'll see if I can get it buffed up a little bit. If I can get the right draws, I might be able to end it in this one right here. But you draw three cards every time unless you get something in particular that helps you draw cards. So 
None of this is good. None of this at least is what I wanted. Um, so we're definitely gonna do this guy. And, uh... Uh, if we kill this guy, then we'll lose... Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. I think that's the best play we can make right now. Yeah, it's not ideal, though. It's not ideal. I don't want to be switching weapons this much. I want to be taking one weapon, really, and building it up more. But uh, we need some gold at this point. So that's partially what I'm going to be going for, is, is gaining up some gold. And it um, should help us out a little bit. He has a lot of gold, though. And this guy has a lot of cards that can use gold to do damage or, or get him like a, a lot of health, a lot of damage, and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see what he's going to do with this. Uh, you have a maximum of 10 cards. So, you don't burn him though. So this one, when he kills, is gonna do some damage to me. But that's okay. I got some. I got some draws right there that are decent. I really need some some gold though. Pretty much, is is very important right now. So I switched out my weapon for a one four, which is a lot of durability, but not very much damage. But I'm gonna be able to buff it up hopefully later on. I haven't been getting my. Uh, I normally get hopefully get minions early on that, that like buff my durability and my attack power of the weapon without me having to do much. I didn't get it this time, so that's a little bit of a shame. Um, depending on what we have though drawn, we may be able to kill him really early in the next turn if he doesn't if he doesn't heal. Let's see what we have. So yeah, we got uh, this guy that buffs us up, but it discards a card. I'm not really sure I want to use that. Pulverize, remove weapon. None of this stuff is very good for us. None of the stuff is very good. So we do six damage. If we strike rival, strike rival will do six, and then uh, this would do eight. In theory, it would kill him. Oh wait! If we do three, that'd bring it up to seven, fourteen. That would kill him. It'd be cheaper too. Yep, I'm ready. Alright. Let's plan on doing but the strike plus that eight six I think is more guaranteed. I will show you what I'll show you what what's so special about this girl anyway though. So we're gonna do Thrago, pulverize, and then we'll uh we'll have plenty of durability, so we'll heal and we'll do that then. I like that. So that's this is gonna be our play. So hopefully, hopefully they don't heal. If he doesn't heal, I think we got him. So we gain three weapon attack by purchasing that. We unlock some things down there at the bottom. So now we're doing nine damage, but our here you go. So this one deals damage to rival equal to your weapon attack times two. So we do fourteen damage to him in one hit, and we kill him. There you go. So when a game, we did it, guys. We won, we won the first game together. I know I didn't do a, a fantastic job. Honestly, of uh, of explaining this as I went along, yep. but this um, we're gonna do another game. A I could get used to. Oh, thank you, thank you. Collect all the rewards. You, you get to buy cards and stuff like that as well. I got victory, and I unlocked these guys, whatever those are. I don't even know, but uh, we'll see. And the next next reward, gain two weapon durability, draw one card. There's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool cards so far that I'm seeing. I don't know what these guys are. I don't know what the skilling is. Earn XP and attack by collecting attack points to temporary attack. Cool. So he was a little bit of an easier opponent. I don't think he was quite up to the skill level that I've been playing at, uh, which is interesting because I haven't been playing much <laughs> other than in the solo play. But we'll do another game. Um, I'm gonna use the same girl because I like her. And then so hopefully I can be, do a little bit better job of explaining things as we go along this time. Ooh, this person knows how strong it is and is using the same character that I am. So let's see how this goes. Uh, you should see a good uh, a good result either way. You, you should see somebody getting their face destroyed. So let's see. Sure, I can go first. I don't like any of these particularly. Um, that's the one I'm gonna keep right now. Is get an early weapon so I can I can beat in some monsters' heads. All right, so we're gonna play. Uh, start playing the rock arm yeah. bandit so we can make some gold. We're gonna get this guy then. Kill the warrior. Oh wait, I, I can't do the warrior first. I'm gonna have to kill the, this guy first so I don't lose my weapon. And then I'll kill the warrior. I might wanna yep, battle I'm next ready. turn soon. But we'll see, we'll see what she has. We'll see if she knows what she's doing here. 
I do believe that Linza is the uh, the strongest of the characters so far. So, like I said, uh, I played I played these in a certain order. So I played this guy, so I can kill him in one shot. So I have two attack, and I get the gold. Uh, she played this one, the remove weapon first, so that she can get uh, the gold for free. She's gonna draw a card. Not a bad choice for her. I mean, card draw is pretty important in this game because it gives you options. You do want to have uh, different options as you go through the game. Um, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. She's gonna buy an extra attack, which I don't use uh, Nastroth really in this in with her because she's based almost entirely, in my opinion, on uh, weapons. So, and then I get to kill this guy without taking any damage. She's gonna collect some gold off of this guy. I'm three one now, so I lose my weapon next turn unless I can uh, find a way of extending it. We'll see what we have next turn and uh, go from there. I don't really want to use pover pulverize yet. We did pick up some free stuff, but so we're gonna do battle this. Do you pick up the the big one right away, or do you pick up the little one? I think we pick up this little this little weapon first. Yep, I'm ready. I think we pick up the little weapon first because we don't know necessarily what we're gonna get next turn. Do we get the big one and just cross our fingers? Now we're gonna grab the big one. We're gonna cross our fingers. All right. Hopefully, all the uh, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna battle the rival, which means we we both fight. If you attack or if you strike a rival, only you hit. If you battle, you both get a hit. So uh, I did more damage than she did to me. I lost my weapon, but that's okay because I'm picking another one up right here. Well, after this, she's starting to buff her weapon up now. Plus one, plus one. But mine's gonna be better because I'm gonna be going right for the seven two weapon. However, I need to find a way to make this more durable, or else I'll be uh, or else I'll be in, in trouble. So. She has to pay this guy, she gets health, and she deals 3 damage to her next creature. So I'm assuming she has another creature then. Oh, she does. And she, it's going to take her 2 hits though, but she's going to heal it up pretty well, and she's also going to get plus 1 permanent attack. So that's where the fire things are, permanent attack. So she has plus 1 permanent attack from that. Alright, so moving on to the next one. We're both in decent shape right now. Um, we'll see how things go. I'm going to try to buff my weapon up now. My goal is to buff my weapon up, and then uh, hopefully strike out at her. This didn't help me at all. This didn't help me much at all. That's the only thing I can play this game. This round. I don't like that. Yep, I'm not I'm feeling I'm not feeling confident about this now. But I don't want to lose I don't want to lose this uh, this weapon. So I don't think I have a choice. So what a what a poor draw for me right there. What a absolutely horrible draw. So I get nothing. I can't do anything now. Uh, see what she does. See what she can come up with. She's got better card draw than me, that's for sure. And more gold too. I can't do anything. So we're just. I'm just gonna hop through to the next level. Try to keep this on me. Uh, that was just a poor, because these guys right here they'll replace my weapon. I'm using the generic deck by the way for this girl. I probably should make my own deck at this point, but I just want to show how strong the generic deck could actually be. This is a lot better for me. So we're gonna do this one, which uh, increases increases the durability as well as the uh, attack on my on my guy, and we're also gonna do four damage to the rival. Uh, I don't think she'll be low enough to kill yet. I'll need some more gold before I can attempt to do the same thing I did last time, which would be uh, the pulverize and a thurgo. So we're just gonna do this for now. Uh, lower her, lower her health down a little bit, and increase our weapon yep, strength. I'm ready. But we want to keep the weapon. We really want to keep the weapon right now, though. I'm feeling a little bit of a lack of money, which is not great. I was hoping to get something else at this point. So she's also buffing up her weapon, but so am I. So hers has a lot more, a lot more uh, durability on it, though. Get two weapon durability and, and uh, draw one card. That's a good. That's a good one. That's a good one for her. She might be able to do 14 damage to me pretty soon, or uh, 12 damage if she has the uh, hurl weapon, or even more, I suppose. We'll see what she can do. She can do 14 right now. Wow, she's buffing up her hurl weapon pretty, pretty, pretty big time. She can do 20 damage with it now. That's that's a lot. That's a lot right there. 20 damage would be quite impressive. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can what we can accomplish here at this next turn. I must prepare for battle. 
I'm gonna want to do this, 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 and this probably. But now let me just think this, because when you throw it, you lose three weapon damage. I just lose what I still had, so I should still have a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, I don't think this can kill her, but it, this may kill her. It might kill her. Yep, we'll have to see. Let's get in here and see what she can do, because she might also be able to kill me if she has the right uh, combo going on. She looks like she's going for more of a durability uh, stance, though, where I'm going for more of a, an attacks-based stance. So. You only have 30 health at the maximum at the end of this, so I feel like having more than a than two durability is kind of not important. So let's just watch this a little bit. Oh my gosh, wow, your weapon attack equals its durability. That's crazy. That's pretty good. So I think I kill her though. So I'm gonna gain three weapon attack, I'm gonna do 30 damage to her on this turn, and she can't stand it. She's done. She's done for. Boom! Dead. I did 30 damage in one hit. I would have one shot at her if she was at full health. If you jump into the furnace, expect to get burned. And that's it. That's why this girl is so powerful right now. The weaponry is just ridiculous. Uh, I've hardly lost with her against any of the of the um, the AI controlled players. So very strong, very strong um, lord right now, I suppose. But I don't know much of the RuneScape lore, honestly. I haven't played in a long, long time. I used to play as a as a young, young man. Um, but I am enjoying this game. And I think it's a little bit different, but it's also a bit fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I'll agree on some fun stuff. I do plan on uh, playing a little bit more and uh, hopefully unlocking some new, uh, some new decks and some new cards and a whole bunch of fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And most importantly, as always, peace out.